what's up everybody and welcome to your july 2021 tarot predictions thank you so much for clicking on this video i am so excited to be doing your messages for this month i am a cancer so i love the month of july and cancer season so i have three uh, messages here for you um we have pile or message number one pile or message number two and pile or message number three um so i invite you to take a deep breath in and out close your eyes and when you open your eyes go ahead and watch for the envelopes or messages that you feel the most drawn to i'll go ahead and leave time stamps down below i do recommend that you get comfy and cozy and maybe like grab a coffee or um you know some water and, and just hang out while you watch these readings are pretty long today just letting you know now <laughs> but yeah i appreciate you guys clicking on this video don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my booking website i'll leave all my links down below and i'll go ahead and give you guys a moment of silence to pick a message what's up group number one and welcome to your message let's go ahead and see what's in this envelope so your message here says tolerate less from people stand strong in who you are no more hiding or running fight for your peace stand up for yourself you are in the right Ooh, what a very like scanty you know way to end that message you were in the right so i like this feeling of july something about july feels like justice something about july feels like you're also being seen being noticed being acknowledged for like the hard work that you do and the good things that you do and that's why i feel like you have every right to stand your ground if anyone tries to you know undermine that or challenge that this july and you know maybe you're someone who's a little bit more like go with the flow or who's a little bit more like passive and doesn't really like um confrontation or something and you know I think confrontation is important to some extent in I think it's a form of self-love and self-respect and a form of self-defense you know so being able to kind of air out a situation before it gets bigger is not always a bad idea um, sometimes if we don't confront the problem at all then things build up and um, next thing we know it's like it's it has blown up into a situation that's too big for us um so that's why sometimes it's better just confront things and handle things now um but let's see let's see what else is coming up for you this july and you know i really feel like there might be um like family members or like I'm just sensing like a presence in your life that is a little bit gaslighty and I feel like they're not like purposely gaslighty for some maybe they are but the energy that I'm channeling it feels like they're gaslighty because they themselves are trying to work through a level of like delusion or they themselves are stuck in their own cages and are projecting their own you know anxieties and fears onto you or something it doesn't feel like it's like your fault it feels like it is like a projection from them like you know evil eye coming from them so and i don't feel like it's a threat either like at all i feel like you are in such a strong shiny bright position that um this energy really can't phase you and I think maybe that bothers that energy a little bit I don't know some of this energy I'm picking up on like like mean family members or like frenemies or like a toxic 
you know, relationship with a narcissistic person, perhaps. But let's see what July is entailing. So something I can get from July right off the bat is it's kind of like, I think a time where you stop taking like BS from other people. And I think it's a time when the BS becomes like clear as day. Like it seems like um, July is very like truthful um, month for you. Like the fogginess and, and anything that was unclear becomes very clear in the month of July. And I think it gives you a lot of, you know, empowerment. Okay. So let's see. Um, we're going to see what's your major... Um, your major like archetypes are for the week uh for each week of july and then i'll pull some lesson cards and some surrender cards um, as well so let's see what are the major archetype cards for this group this july what are the major major things going on all right let's move this over put it here so the first card we have is three of pentacles all right so it kind of seems like the first week of july is going to be a pretty social week let's see i'm just pulling the cards Ooh, look at that um death card the third week what about this fourth week of july oh we want one card to fall that's too many so i'm gonna put it back also just want to make sure i'm in frame i feel like this mat is like moving around everywhere okay Let's see what's going on the fourth week of July for this group. Fourth week of July for this group. Hmm. <laughs> Let's try again. Fourth week of July for this group. No, we are gonna try again. I want only one card to fall, please. So let's give it a good shuffle. Get the energy a little more acclimated to this card. Something that I am feeling here's a lot of like go 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 energy things are feeling like it's moving fast and as i say that okay two cards keep falling so we're just gonna keep it you know let's pull two cards for everybody so let's let's pull another card for this three of pentacles can we get a confirmation card for this three of pentacles Ooh, too many we're gonna put that back Let's get one. The reason why I don't like to read cards if it's too many cards is I feel like, you know, it's not precise. I'd rather have one card fall out to, you know, precisely answer my question um, in a spread like this. Let's see. All right. So we have three of pentacles. King of pentacles or sorry, king of wants to confirm it. Okay. Two cards fell and these cards this is their second time falling out so i feel like they want to be out okay so here's our weekly spread let's go ahead and get some lesson cards in here for july what are some major lessons for group number one for july major lessons here for this group what are some major lessons here? Ooh, that energy of denial coming out, the energy of judgment coming out. Let's give it another pass. And the energy of acceptance coming out. Let's take a look at what this group can surrender the month of this month of July. It's something this group can surrender this month of July. there's a lot of good energy here for this group i must say don't let these cards scare you let's pull one last thing all right here it is all right and i have one card face down we'll just keep it down for now all right so let's see what this mysterious second week card is the moon card oh i love that you know july is a very um, lunar month uh, it's cancer season and cancer is a zodiac sign that is the um, uh, that is associated with the moon sorry <laughs> got my I always say when I'm reading tarot sometimes my astrology brain is a little fried <laughs> and it's because they're they're very different things you know 
but tarot is a lot more intuitive astrology is a lot more scientific and mathematical and it's not easy to jump from like you know the intuitive side to the logistic side <laughs> but anyway um let's take a look at this first week of july we have three of pentacles and the king of wands so something i see right off the bat is you getting a lot more social with people especially maybe in the workplace you know connecting more with your colleagues or networking more online or maybe even making a friend through your place of work <clears throat> and something i'm seeing here is um people are noticing you people want to collab with you people like your work people know that you love what you do and they know that you're going to amount to something and i can see here that you know it as well with this king of wands like you're ready to put in the work you're ready to achieve your higher ambitions and higher goals and i feel like you have a lot of spiritual guidance and spir spiritual support with that because in um um i don't know it feels like um let me channel this energy a bit because I, I kind of was going to say there's a lot of cats coming up but literally it's the cat deck so of course there's like cats in every card but it just feels like you are being held held is a good word held by your guides as you go through this but it also feels like you have to take initiative you also have to lead you also have to sometimes, you know, put in the blood, sweat, work, and tears for what you do. And let me tell you, like, you have to put in the most blood, sweat, work, and tears for what you love to take it that far. That's what it takes. And I think you know that and you understand that and you're, like, prepping yourself for it. And other people can see that you're getting ready to blossom. So I think that's a lot of what week one is, is the groundwork the calculations, the nitty gritty, setting up the mo the mod the models, you know, business models, setting up um, you know, taxes. I feel like it's about getting good strong foundations. It's um reminding me of um this quote from Dumplin, it's a movie on Netflix. And I believe it's a Dolly Parton quote. Um and it says it goes something along the lines of the difference between winning and losing is in the details and so that's kind of what i feel like you're understanding about the first week i also feel like the first week you're getting on like a new routine like a new game plan you're like back on the drawing board but in a very inspired and passionate way all right let's see what's happening with week number two for you we have the moon card here with the three of cups week number two feels so mystical um i really feel like you can run into like special people um th during this week maybe like having like a really cool time with your friends or come or like gathering pe gathering for celebration maybe with friends and family and like hometown people or like um even just like going out and um meeting like someone new it just feels like this is a very like relationship oriented time and it feels like it just feels like you've been doing a lot of inner work when it comes to relationships and i think that the universe really sees that and it's kind of like ready to put you back out there it feels like you're getting put back out there again it's super it's super beautiful and I think also scary at the same time but I feel like you also kind of like you have like this energy of the fool where it's like you don't mind leaping into the unknown right now you know there's growth in the unknown and I think you know that eventually and inevitably the unknown becomes known it becomes new territory Maybe like there's gonna be a lot of night adventures for you with your friends. I'm seeing that. I'm picking up on a lot of Pisces energy here with the little fish on the bottom. Maybe even Cancer energy with that moon. Okay. <clears throat> now we have the Death card here with the Chariot. The third week. 
this feels like a symbolic death this feels like a death to the old version of you or a death to an old chapter maybe even perhaps a death to whatever this first card was referring to so if anything was making you feel small or if anybody was sending you like evil light perhaps that ends and that's done you know the death card in tarot just represents um an ending um which does which thus you know initiates a new beginning and to me it feels like this is an expected death for some for others i feel like if it came unexpectedly it's because you were ignoring all the red flags and you maybe had that ego of like oh this could never happen to me and then it ended up happening but i feel like you know if you've been in tune with yourself and and you've been kind of like in control of your life then you already know what's ha what's ending here you think you, you you know to say goodbye to this it's like a chapter it's like a work it's like a friend it's like a maybe a place of living but it seems like that third week is when the new beginning really starts and I can see with this new beginning here that there may be a sense of like not knowing where you're going you just know you're like going somewhere <laughs> you know and that's okay like life isn't always certain you know um, and we, we can't let uncertainty stop us from following our gut sometimes or following our intuition sometimes so I really feel like your gut and your intuition are going to be you know your key navigators right now um which can be really frustrating to some who you know really want logical answers <laughs> you know the universe and the cosmos they don't always work like that they don't always you know everything makes sense like scientifically and mathematically but you're gonna have to view it from an intuitive lens to get that you know and i feel like that third week is going to maybe ask you to trust your gut ask you to trust your intuition but to me this really feels like a personal like ending like whatever was weighing you whatever was keeping you small whatever was holding you back that's what really ends and it kind of feels like after that you're feeling boss you're feeling ready and i say that because we have king energy two king energy king of swords and king of cups which indicates to me you are mental mentally and emotionally gonna end July off on a really strong note I feel like you might be like I don't know like getting smarter in some type of way either through like life and life lessons or maybe you're like going back to school or maybe you're like you know in a getting a lot of like experience in your field or something like that but it seems like you're getting smarter and um, uh, things are becoming way more clear and then on an emotional level it feels like you're a lot more strong right now and you've kind of repaired a lot of like rips and tears and i think you're starting to get over maybe a bunch of past people which means you're making room for new people and it really feels like this is a good time for you to put yourself back out there like it feels like you're kind of on steady waters and it's been a hot minute maybe since you've been on steady waters um but it looks like um, July is going to roll out beautifully for you. Let's see what are a few lessons then that can come from July. Let me, again, make sure I read things in frame. All right, some lessons then. So I have acceptance. It says, let me see. Can you see that? Okay, good, good, you can. All right, so it says acceptance and denial let's do it like this and judgment okay so let me channel this a little bit okay so let's talk about this energy of denial because that was super interesting that it came up because we were talking about how there's like this underlying level of like fogginess um that it's i feel like it's always been there it's always been in the back burner but we've just been ignoring it and again that's probably what's going to come up and come to an end the third week because i feel like you know your lesson i think from that is that, again 
to not prolong things by ignoring them and your lesson I think is also to just face things head on and I think as you start to face things head on you can build a confidence you know within yourself you can build a trust within yourself that you can handle things I feel like this denial is rooted in you not trusting yourself and feeling like you can't handle things so you think it's better to just ignore it and I think it's time to start you know building that relationship back up with yourself so you can start to move through this um, cloud of denial we have the energy of acceptance here's another lesson of July and I think this is just kind of like accepting um, that I don't want to say accepting that things aren't going to always go your way because I really feel like things go your way most of the time because you worked hard from it. I don't feel like you're a person that just gets things handed to them. This kind of acceptance I think is more over, I think, your emotions. I feel like there's an acceptance of your emotions and an acceptance of how they work and how deeply they feel and how they can impact other people. I think there's also just an acceptance of self, right? What you can and can't, I don't wanna say what you can and can't change because I believe you can change anything and everything about yourself. But um, I feel like there's an acceptance of who the self is though, you know, who the self is at the core. Something about cancer season I feel like reveals a very inner deep part of you to yourself and then we have the card of judgment it says i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges and i think this is kind of letting go of harsh judgments that you may have had on people maybe you learn to just detach from them overall um maybe also reviewing any um decisions you made in the past learning from that so that way you can carry that you know those lessons into uh, decisions you have to make in the future but really this judgment part to me feels mostly like letting go of judgments judgments of other people judgments of yourself maybe judgments of like the blessings coming in maybe you're like judging to judging life so hard you're not even seeing the blessings that are like right in front of you so i feel like that's a lesson in july all right, let's see what are some things you can surrender. So I have surrendering to setting limits, surrender to setting limits, surrender frustration, and then this third one is surrender your fear of intimacy. Okay, so let's see. let's see surrender to setting limits let's read them it says it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence i like that energy and i feel like that um that goes really well with our first card here remember it said to um stand up for yourself and to tolerate less from people so um, I think that's a key thing in July. Perhaps you're someone who's very, like, um, non-judgmental in a way of people. Um, and I think that it can sometimes, <laughs> you can sometimes let things slide or sometimes be so understanding of people that you can enable people to keep, you know, doing things. So it's better to set that boundary, you know, than next card I have is surrender frustration it says frustration doesn't open any doors the key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath center yourself and regroup you may approach the situation calmly so I feel like there's um, a sense of frustration here because um, there was I was sensing a little bit of impatience so I really think slowing yourself down is gonna help a lot with that frustration and I feel like there may have been a frustration because of the uncertainty that we were channeling in this reading. So I really hope that that confirms to you that things are going to be okay. So you don't have to feel as frustrated. Um, but I think it's also might be a good idea to kind of like, you know, put the situation down, take a step back and do something else for a second. And then you can come back to the situation when you have a little bit of a clear mind and fresh eyes. 
Okay, so this um, next card here is surrender your fear of intimacy. It says you are ready to let love in, compassionately identify, and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. So it's like we were saying in this reading, it's time to put yourself out there because people see you right now. People see you and you have to kind of like, you have an opportunity to let people in if you're willing and if you're ready. And if not, you know, it's okay. There'll be many opportunities, but I definitely think July is an opportunity to kind of rejoin society. I feel like a lot of you are like coming out of your shell and like rejoining groups, rejoining work, rejoining like, you know, school or maybe classes again, or like, um, you know, hanging out at the park with your friends again. There's a sense of like coming back out into the world and with this like new and improved you, like you have to show off this new and improved you right now and I love it. All right, let's pull our last and final card here. It is Postcards from Spirit from Colette Baron Reed. It's been one of my favorite ways to end readings lately. So let's pull a final postcard. And by the way, um, if you guys um, like these pick a card readings, make sure to give this video a like or like tweet me at Twitter and tell me um, because I have a bunch of um, ideas, but I want to make sure that you guys are like into this. So yeah. Okay. Let's see what postcard we have here. Also, if you made it this far, why don't you comment down below with some purple heart emojis or the moon emoji so I know what pile you picked. It says, Dearest you, there are times when loss is a part of life. Sometimes a loss is welcome, like when you leave a situation not in alignment with your highest good. Ooh, death card. It says, Sometimes a loss is sudden and painful, like when a loved one crosses over to our dimension. Regardless of the nature of the loss and your control over it, your experience is asking you to be acknowledged. Tears are necessary, as is grief. When you repress the natural expression of loss and try to move on too quickly, the unprocessed pain haunts you in destructive ways. We don't want that for you. Instead, your heart, instead let your heart break open, open wide. Feel the loss and integrate it. See the beauty that was see the beauty that was the lessons learned and know that you, that as you let go of what has passed ever more of you remains it's better it gets better we promise your heart expands with more compassion for the world than ever before love heals all we are loving you and sending you love always and forever wow you know when i was reading this message i um also channeled the words sometimes you experience like a loss too like right before a really big gain and i think for a lot of you like i said this loss is like you you see it coming for some of you maybe maybe not but um i don't want you know you guys to leave this reading feeling anxious that there's going to be this big crazy loss coming in um like this card said sometimes a loss is very much welcomed you're like please get me out of this situation please free me from the situation and i really feel that heavily for this group that it's like a loss that comes right before such big gains and like i said i really feel like you end up this reading off mentally and emotionally really strong and really mature um something about this also feels like there's a lot of luck around you and like i said you're being like held by the universe so don't be afraid and also everybody experiences losses every single day you know every single day we're losing money we're losing time we're losing our minds <laughs> so loss is not something to fear okay it's something we can um, embrace. It's something that we can learn from. It's something that we can that can free us. It's something that can initiate 
a brand new start and a brand new beginning and I really think that's what's happening here a brand new start and beginning is being initiated but yeah all right group of everyone so that was it for your reading thank you so so much for watching um don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn your my bell on so that way you know when i post these readings and yeah i can't wait to see you guys in my next video Bye bye hello group number two and welcome to your message i am really excited to be working with your energy today thank you so so much for clicking on this video so let's go ahead and see what's in the envelope and what your message says so it says here you need to know that you hold all the power within happiness is in your hands the right path isn't always certain just put in effort and eventually you will figure out what the best course of action is wow i love that for this group so i feel intuitively with this group that maybe you've been like low on energy for the past so like maybe month or two and it feels like it's you know you've been kind of like in this divine like pause period it kind of feels like this group you know they're in their like cocoon phase but I think July is the month when you, you know, come out of that cocoon a butterfly. So um, I think things are going to start getting, you know, the ball's going to get rolling again. Things are going to start moving. And I think if anything, you kind of have to have a lot of endurance this July and kind of have to train your mind and your body to handle more or to do more because I think you know you've been in this rest period for so long um it can feel overwhelming to have to like jump back into life again and jump back into you know routine and work and school and friends and family and all the responsibilities that we have right so I think it's important to go into it little by little like you don't want to go from zero to 100 right away um that will either like tire you out or you know it'll make the challenges ahead you know look so much bigger than they are and you could get overwhelmed and get tired and feel like you can't do it and you kind of set yourself up for you know disaster maybe going from zero to 100 i feel like it's better to like you know ease yourself into it do like one or two, give yourself a to-do list full of like one or two things and then once you get that routine down okay then add two more things to your routine all right you're getting that routine down okay add a few more things to the routine and so on and so on you know ease yourself into it what's important though is that you take action i feel like this group has not been taking enough action and um you don't want to fall behind you know um, I feel like July is supposed to be a month where you pivot, a month where um, what you've been waiting for finally comes. And so you kind of want to be awake and ready to catch that blessing, you know? I'm going to have a sip of water here. I suggest this group does as well. Something about the energy is a little bit dehydrating. Um, so make sure you're hydrating yourself drinking plenty of water all right let's see let's see what's going on um for each week of july and then i'm also going to pull some lesson cards and some surrender cards for you so let's see what is going on for group number two for july what is going on for group number two this July? Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and get. Let's go ahead and deep. Oh, ooh. all right. <clears throat> so we have the chariot, the hermit and the ten of wands let's see what's going on this fourth week of july <clears throat> nine of pentacles okay well, what 
card is coming out to confirm our chariot. We have the Page of Swords. Okay, and what card is coming out to confirm the Hermit? We have the Queen of Wands. Alright. What card is coming out to confirm our Ten of Wands? Alright, we're gonna need we're gonna need to be a little more precise. Let's see what card is coming out to confirm our Ten of Wands. King of Wands. I love that. And what card is coming out to confirm our Nine of Pentacles? Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, now I kind of want to pull some three extra cards for this group. I kind of just feel like Tarot's not done talking here. What's, what is like the sensual theme of July? Ooh, we have the star reversed. And can we get some cards confirming this energy? All right, so here are the cards confirming this energy. The moon, nine of swords, and a card in reverse. This is such an interesting energy. I'm excited to read. We're gonna go ahead and move these guys over um, to the side. Let's see what's going on in the background first. <clears throat> so we have the chariot as uh, your first week for the first week of July paired with the page of swords. So I feel like fish out of water energy for this group with the first week of July. Um, I think there's something about, you know, your new life or your new chapter that you're still trying to figure out, but I feel like you have this like readiness, like readiness to jump into it, readiness to um, master this. Like I feel like there's an energy of going from um, student to master, going from um, like level one and moving up and it's like you finally are like eligible enough to even play this game. You know, this is kind of what it feels like, like you're finally um, maybe got into like a school or whatever and you're now able to work your way through d your degrees or maybe you finally got that job and you're able to work up in that company. Like it, that, that's kind of the energy I'm feeling here, but it, it, it's giving me some fish out of water energy because it's giving me like newbie energy, new territory energy or like um, intern energy. But you got it. But you absolutely got it. And I love that. We have the Hermit here and the Queen of Wands. And this is funny. Something about this group, like, I feel like there's something really magnetic about your energy. And there's something that makes people very drawn to you. And I was saying, you know, earlier on in this reading that I feel like this group needs to, like, get out there more and socialize. And we pull the hermit card and it feels kind of like you have all these people that like admire you or, or see something in you and you're like meh i don't really want to hang out with them or like you have like a lot of suitors maybe who like are showing interest and you're like meh i'm not really interested in them <laughs> and you know i think that's actually something to overcome a bit you know let yourself be this queen of wands let yourself be as be seen it feels like this is you on the outside but this is you on the inside and you don't let people see this part of you you cover that up with this shell with this dullness or with this this guard or something and you gotta let that queen of wands show you gotta let that fire within you show that creative um inspirational energy and i think you know what it is is you need to see it within yourself you need to see it within yourself first and you need to own it Okay. I think that happens the second week though. Then we have the Ten of Wands here, third week of July. So I'm seeing, you know, it's kind of like hustle time or like go time the third week of July. There may be like a lot on your plate or um, there may be like, um, like it seems like you either have like like a lot on your yeah it just feels like you have a lot on your plate i'm seeing a lot on your to-do list i'm seeing you just like trying to handle a bunch of like different areas of life like you're busy you're busy the third week of july but you 
got it. Like I said, it's paired out here with the King of Wands. The fact that we have this King and Queen energy is showing to me harmony, all right? Kind of balancing the two sides of you, knowing when it's time to put in your all and work and knowing when it's time to sit back and let everybody admire the work. You know what I mean? It, you're you're starting to figure that out. You're starting to have this balance, knowing when it's time to be ambitious, put that, initi you know, be initiative and put in the work, put in the grind and knowing when it's time to you know, sit back and let the blessings fall in and, and just accept things as they are and and whatnot. It feels like you balance that out in the month of July so beautifully. And that's why you're ending this month with the Nine of Wands and the and the Wheel of Fortune. You know, Nine of Wands, sorry, not Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Feeling content. Feeling content, feeling independent, feeling, you know, satisfied like you're finally seeing like you know the fruits of your labor with this card feeling feeling invested in yourself <clears throat> proud of yourself confident you have this wheel of fortune energy and you know that to me tells me that you know finances start to turn in your favor or um life kind of maybe works in your favor a bit and i think it might kind of freak you out maybe you're a type of person who's not really used to things working out in your favor so don't be suspicious of it and like ruin it i'm sensing some scorpio energy here where you're getting you get sus of things that are good and like <laughs> you like you know start to doubt it don't do that here don't do that here i think this month is supposed to be chill this month is supposed to be one where you balance things out all the time it can't always be weighed to one side or the other you know sometimes we just want to have a month of chill harmony and balance and you have that here but let's see what's going on with these little extra cards i was seeing the star card the nine of swords card the moon card and this one is Ooh, all right so now i'm seeing the more shadow sides of this aspect so something i could see with this star card is like not trusting like spirit it's like not trusting that things can work out for the good too or not trusting and seeing the beauty and everything that's already there it kind of feels like because they're you're in new waters and because things are a little uncertain and unknown and because things are a little like you're kind of like maybe starting fresh or starting over in some type of way that you feel like the stars were misaligned or you feel like um like think uh, something didn't work out and that is the misalignment you know it just feels like there was maybe like a tower moment that you didn't want and didn't expect um and so you think that the stars aren't aligning and i don't want to be like gaslighting you here <laughs> you know saying all bad things mean you know our four good things trust me like the stars are aligning even when bad things happen like how annoying <laughs> but what i mean is that um i think there are also a lot of blessings coming your way and there are also a lot of really lucky fantastic things coming your way and if you're only focused on this tower card you're not going to see those things as blessings you're not going to see those things as alignment you're not going to see those things as um as luck and I think that's what's important, again, having that sense of balance and that understanding of the world. Unlucky things happen and lucky things happen too, okay? And I think that's maybe why the star card is in reverse. Maybe we've been leaning way into one side or the other, being too optimistic or too cynical, too negative. Be in the middle. All right, we have this Knight of Swords card here coming out with this Hermit. <laughs> And the queen of wands so this is to me um showing me anxiety anxiety or fear when it comes to letting this queen of wands shine when it comes to letting your work shine your creative side shine your beauty shine your you know ideas shine there's some type of anxiety or self-doubt or mental cage there a self-limiting belief there that has to like you have to like rise above that a bit okay and we kind of have to rise above that a bit and 
I think just channeling this energy into they like this energy of this red bird this cardinal bird it's reminding me of mars energy and i feel like maybe working with your mars placement could help watch a youtube video about you know mars in your zodiac sign mars in the house that it's in and see what kind of recommendations or remedies the astrologers give you um in regards to working with that energy because mars is like your drive and your courage we kind of have to muster that energy up a bit because something about this card is asking you to face your fears like i'm not going to sugarcoat it and say like you know um that it's not going to be scary and that it's not going to be hard um but i'm going to say i think it's time that you take power back from this limitation and it's time that you um free yourself from that limitation because you have everything within you to do that we have that confirmation here in this in this card it says you need to know that you hold all the power within and happiness is in your hands right the right path isn't always certain and so i think there's an energy of like either having to you know if you're dealing with something a little bit heavier and a little bit more sensitive maybe finally seeking the help for it you know the therapy for it or finally opening up to people around you about it addressing it getting you know knowledge on it um researching it finding um resources for yourself and if you're dealing with something a little bit more like on the lighter end of things I really feel like this is kind of a time for you to grow some cojones, okay, and just do it. You gotta like, you know, face your fears, face your nerves, face your anxieties, and crush them, crush them. And, you, and that's why I think I was being channeled um, to mention Mars, because Mars is the energy you want to tap into when you're trying to conquer your fear. <clears throat> okay, let's see what's going on this third week with the moon card here with our ten of wands and our king of wands so i feel like this shows me that you have a really strong connection to your higher self so that's telling me your higher self future self whatever is like telling you it feels like you're in good connection with them so it's kind of like this energy of like i know i'm gonna be this i know i'm gonna get that done that's because we're connected to our higher selves and our higher selves can confirm yes and i'm in the future and i'm telling you you do get that done you know and if you don't believe in that kind of you know mystical stuff then this could just be that you have a really good sense of your trajectory right now you just really know where you've been where you are and where you're headed you know and i think you got to trust that because there may be some people or blockages or bumps in the road that might have you questioning that and so really stick to this feeling of knowing really stick to this feeling of determination like if 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 you are feeling if you are oh i'm getting <clears throat> oh my throat there it goes there it goes okay fine i won't say that message i won't say that message <laughs> i was about to say a message and then there goes the throat so i'm gonna have a drink of water and we're gonna move on to the to the fourth one <laughs> I have been learning to trust my gut and my guides when they stop me from saying a message because then what happens is if I say the message anyways then I feel like it's wrong and I end up scrapping the whole thing <laughs> so I trust you guys I trust I trust my spirit guides when they say stop talking and move on to the next <laughs> to the next card <clears throat> and, and hey you know maybe that's something that this group has to do like you don't always have to confront things you don't always have to say things you don't always have to like make your point known sometimes it's better to just hold back keep it moving forget about it and detach from it you know <laughs> okay next we have the five of pentacles here with the nine of pentacles and the wheel of fortune <clears throat> and this is telling me that if you feel broke or not even if you feel broke if you feel like you don't have enough or if you feel 
like a you still are having a difficult relationship with value with a sense of value and what value is to you and what truly is valuable if you still find yourself maybe even focused on money and focus on the materials way too much then there's going to be a sense of lack at the end of the month there's going to be a sense of like oh i feel like i'm not enough but in all reality you have everything you have enough you have plenty but the reason why you would feel a lack is because you're wanting more for more sake it's like when you finally get the job promotion and you celebrate for one day and then day two comes around and you're like okay i want to work for the next on to the next job promotion how do i get the next job promotion and then by day three you're feeling like you're not enough or you're feeling like yeah you still gotta work and you still gotta like hustle and you know it's not enough because you're not nearly close to your goal because you want to be up there but you're here and blah 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 it's like whoa 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 no celebrate the small things you know again another way to put this it's kind of like like you mm, i don't know let me see like you finally um like get your dream job you're finally able to work full-time um at home right and so you quit your full-time job you quit your nine to five and you're working full-time at home um but now you're like stressed because you're like is this gonna work is this gonna sustain me like am i investing in the right thing was it right for me to quit the nine to five and blah 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 and all of a sudden a blessing has been tossed through the window because how many people can say that they're able to work from home and quit their nine to five not many not many people have the time and the talent and the leisure and the blessing of doing that but see how you can throw that blessing away just because by because of perspective because of wanting more for more sake because of you know attachments to materialistic things attachments to wanting things a certain way attachments to wanting that expensive person can present a certain look so that way people can respect you you know instead of you could have put, invested that money into your um, studies and then that would have produced better quality work and people would have respected you for that which probably would have been something that is way more substantial way more sustainable way more way more impactful than you being respected because of the purse you have or the clothes you wear do you know what i mean there's that type of situation that i'm picking up on with this five of pentacles because you know in reality you have so many blessings around you that other people would probably kill for that people are wishing for and this is also the energy too of maybe you know just having to save and spend like you maybe you're in a good position um money wise but that doesn't mean that you should be able to be like going on all these fabulous trips you know that does that doesn't mean success that doesn't mean wealth sometimes success and wealth is you being comfortable sometimes success and wealth is you being able to have a roof over your head food on the table and a happy you know a happy belly and a place to go to bed at night like that's success too you know that's success too i'm telling you there are really strong rooting substantial wins here that are happening all right and i also feel like there's gonna be some big wins too like come on venus and leo i feel like there's gonna be some flashy wins here but don't let you know society's idea of wealth and success and value skew you from enjoying your personal success wealth and value all right let's go ahead and get some lesson cards in here let's see what lessons are coming up for group number two this july what lessons are coming up what lessons are coming up for group number two all right lessons for group number two
Alright. This one's for group number two. No? We're going to give another shuffle in. If not, then it's okay. Maybe maybe there are no less than card messages for this group. Alright. Oh, and I'm just kidding. Wow, look at that. First card to fall is abundance. How confirming. Because what was I saying? This group has a lot of abundance. I was just making sure everything's in frame. <laughs> but I like that energy. It says, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Yes, you can, group number two. So the sooner you learn that, the better. All right. Ooh, here's our second one. We have patience. Okay, good, good fruit. They don't grow overnight. It says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. Okay, so trust in divine timing. Trust in the process. Take your sweet ass time. Be patient with it. Things are coming. And last lesson was freedom. It says, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And I feel like that sums up what we said in the first card too. All right, so freeing yourself from this, from hermit mode, from hiding, from um, um, feeling too anxious, from feeling stuck because of your anxieties and your fears, free yourself from that this month of July. Let's go ahead and get some surrender cards for group number two. Let's get some surrender cards for group number two. Surrender cards for group number two for July 2021. Let's see. All right, so there's two. Let's get one more. And there it is. Okay. So we have surrender to trust. It says, trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Stars really are aligning, all right? Then we have surrender comparisons with other people. All right, that's, I think, again, we talked a bit about that with the end of the month. But it says, keep your eyes trained on yourself focus on your strengths attractiveness and power okay you have all the power within and it's all unfolding perfectly on time and the only way you can ruin that experience is if you compare it to other people's time and other people's power which is irrelevant to you and yours okay next card we have is surrender to the magic of who you are it says we all have magic in us even in the mundane aspects of life remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and a worth that comes from just being you i love that energy i feel like you don't even have to try this month because of this like attractiveness with the queen of wands here and the magnetic energy that i'm feeling for this group it's like opportunities will just find you people will just find you like all you kind of have to do is just let yourself be seen like come out of the shell and blossom it's kind of like you know you went into um you know you went into the season a caterpillar and then you're coming back out a butterfly and all your caterpillar friends are like whoa like let me see those wings like let me see you spread your wings why are you being shy like let me see you fly <laughs> so it's time let yourself blossom let yourself fly okay let's go ahead and pull a postcard from spirit it's been one of my favorite ways to end readings lately and this is a deck by colin barrett reed i do list all the decks i use down below just in case you guys are curious um but if you guys made it this far in the reading why don't you comment down below some fire emojis um i don't know i'm liking that queen of wands energy so let me see some fire emojis down below let's go ahead and pull a postcard from this group <coughs> all right um oh here it is also if you guys like these pick a, pick a card readings feel, um 
don't hesitate to let me know in like the comments or like tweet at me on twitter i really love hearing back and um if you guys like these then i will put them out more often um but let's go ahead and read this card it says dear you human beings spend a huge percentage of life asleep not in bed but in the kind where you forget you are a spiritual immortal being taking on a temporary human form it's not your fault everyone suffers from spiritual amnesia once in a while as you develop an identity and, and an ego you begin to see through the eyes of a small self and have less connection to your soul self you may not recognize this is going on, but you sure can feel it. We're here to remind you to look through your soul's eyes and see that magic is everywhere. Infinite potential lies in spirit, who is teeming with you to fulfill the contract you made to contribute to the evolution of the whole world. Wake up and remember that all the help you need is orchestrated in the invisible realms. Your mind, in alignment with divine intelligence, is unstoppable. The world is yours to co-create wow i love this energy so something about this card is telling me that maybe some of you are new to spirituality maybe some of you just started working with your with that third eye um <clears throat> and if you've been like an og and you've been you know um, a spiritualist for a minute um then i really feel like you're uh, leveling up and really getting kind of like like seeing things from new heights and um maybe getting more connected to yourself more intuitive or maybe just trusting that a little bit more and incorporating it in your life a little bit more but it kind of seems like you're starting to see yourself more as something that is divine and i think you're starting to see maybe more synchronicities in life coincidences in life if not i feel like july will do that and it will bring it to you so i'm excited i love synchronicities and coincidences <clears throat> okay let's go ahead and wrap this reading up then thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe and like this video um and comment down below and tell me you enjoyed it i really love interacting with you guys on this platform um but yeah, it was such a pleasure working with your energy, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Hello everyone, so if you chose message number three, then this reading is going to be for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is in your envelope. <clears throat> Alright, so it says here, now is the time to simplify life. Your values and conditionings are changing and maturing you have been blessed with the opportunity to rebuild I love that energy so something I'm intuitively sensing with this group is kind of like an ego death and I kind of want to discuss the ego a little bit um, so in my psychology class I'm like a first year psych student so this is gonna sound very basic in general but in my psychology class we learned about the the fruit theory or the Fred theory however you say it and how you know he believed that the ego consists of three parts there's our super ego which is you know the part of us that wants to do well and wants to be accepted by society and then there's the id the id is like that inner two-year-old in us that you know wants what it wants and um it ha it's a part of us that's like desires and then there's the actual ego itself um and the actual ego itself has to kind of balance out the super ego and the id and it has to kind of make sure it's not giving one or the other too much power and I really feel like if you have in any way been leaning, you know, into the super ego, maybe you're caring too much about what other people think, um, then you're going to balance that out. Or if you're leaning too much into the id where you're super fixed and focused on your desires and your goals, that you're willing to like do whatever you want, step on people to get there, you know, then that'll be super apparent as well. And I think overall a lot more balance is falling. Um, in within this group like it feels like you start to balance out a lot of your inner conflicts um and i think that's what that card meant by you 
your conditioning maturing like you know the old things that used to set you off your old reactions to things the old um way you thought and approached life that could be maturing a bit right now in this month of july let's see and i also feel like you know your values are changing maybe like the way you see money is changing and so the way you are like handling your money you know it could change you could be a bit more of a saver now or you could be investing wiser um sorry i turned on the light a bit because it was a little too bright even with these sunglasses on <laughs> um but yeah it kind of just seems like oh i'm sorry if you hear my roommate screaming in the background <laughs> but um it kind of seems like this is an opportunity though to start over and to kind of like have a fresh start it's kind of like you're getting a chance to do something again with a lot more wisdom with a lot more expertise and with a lot more like experience and i think it makes all the difference like the first time you know it, that was a trial run this time around is like really go time that's what it feels like for this group okay let's go ahead and pull like some cards for the week to week let's see what cards are going on with the week to week What cards are going on for the week to week? Okay, so let's see. First card we have here is Queen of Cups for July 1. Let's see what's happening in July 2. Oh, let's start off July 2. What's happen happening the second week of July? But hey, maybe July 2 is going to be a significant date for the people watching this video. Alright, what's happening Jul the second week of July? I love this energy of Queen of Cups because it's just like giving me the energy of Cancer again and this moon energy is giving the energy of Cancer which is you know it's Cancer season but you kind of like little crab lobster thing here you're at the beach um, and then moon you know it's ruled by the sign of Cancer so it's, that's interesting maybe we have a lot of Cancers here all right third week we have the three of swords it's interesting and then let's see what's happening in the fourth week What's happening in the fourth week of July? Okay. Temperance. I really like that energy following this Three of Swords. I like that. Let's go ahead and pull some confirmation cards just to go along with this. Can I get a confirmation card for the Queen of Cups? Um, you have Seven of Swords. Perfect. Can we get a confirmation for the Moon? We have King of Swords. Alright. I like that energy. Let's see. We have so many swords here. Let's see. Three of Swords. Okay, and then Temperance. Let's see what's happening. Ooh, that went flying. Wow, we have the Empress. Wow, that fourth week of July is looking so powerful for everybody. And you know, we're we're in that um around the third week and fourth week of July we are in you know the anderetic degrees of cancer and then we're moving into the more um vibrant like early on degrees of leo so i think that's why this uh, later half of the month is gonna be such an interesting time for people okay I'm just make sure everything is in frame okay <clears throat> let me channel this energy a bit you have a lot of swords here so a lot of like mental conflicts here and i think that might be what this card was referring to when it was asking you to simplify your life and again like your values and your conditioning changing so something that i'm seeing here is working on getting a lighter mind this month you know not carrying with you as many heavy thoughts as, as many fears as many you know anxieties and I really feel like the true way to to overcome that is to face that head on. And so I think something that's really important for this group is to not let things build, to not let things 
um, like bu bubble up and be in the background. Really try to bring things front and center. Really try to like air out the room when need be. Um, this Queen of Cups energy with the Seven of Swords, I really feel like if there were anything disrupting you like emotionally or if there were anything that was just draining you or kind of like I can sense energy vampires here, I kind of feel like you're able to defend yourself and protect yourself from that and I really think you're able to um, like remain unfazed by that. I really feel like for this group a lot of your worries like just drop and I think it kind of happened already like maybe closer to like eclipse uh, season like the end of eclipse season but I really feel like into cancer season more of these worries will just continue to drop it's kind of like you're it's like you've prayed people out of your life or you've prayed like you know difficulties out of your life whether you were doing it subconsciously or consciously you've kind of like manifested these things out so that's super interesting so i see that happening like the first week of july the first week of july kind of feels like a breath of fresh air for this group and it feels like i'm, I'm trying to channel this seven of swords energy a bit <clears throat> Can I get a confirmation card for that seven of swords? Let me let me find my baby tarot. I've been meaning to use baby tarot to confirm things because I just think it's really cute. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and get a confirmation card for the seven of swords energy here in this group. I just want to know what's happening here. All right. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. What an interesting confirmation. So I think one right off the bat that confirms to me that like whatever the Seven of Swords energy is, it becomes very clear and it's very quick for you to just cut it off. Um, it feels as though, oh, and as I say that, we have Ace of Cups that fell out and the four of pentacles that come out and so what i'm seeing here is just a lot more emotional stability and a lot more emotional security and you being a lot more sure of yourself so other people can't like gaslight you other people can't like tell you what your story is or try to make you know try to switch things on you or try to deceive you or like pull a fast one on you like people can't do that to you right now you see it tough and clear and you're standing way too strong within yourself um, for that to work Okay, that's interesting. Let's see what's happening here with this second week. We have the moon here with the king of swords. Okay, so I think this um, these two cards are kind of referring to the part of um, the message that said you're um, changing and maturing. Because this king of swords to me shows strength in the mind in some type of way and I think this strength in motions leads to strength in the mind and I said that in a reading I did and I think it ended up getting scrapped um because I just felt intuitively not to post it but this message is coming up right now where I feel like this emotional maturity that you're getting is allowing you to really ease your mind where you're like okay hang on I'm safe now I don't have to stress about this I'm nowhere near this person anymore. I don't have to be scared of them. I, you know, am, I have a lot more control and power over my life. I don't have to be afraid of that. You know, there's kind of that energy coming in. And I think the month of July really, like, spring cleans your mind in a way. And it's beautiful. And I think you're also, um, like, literally a lot more intelligent now. So, you push your boundaries you know when it comes to things you can solve and problems you can handle i think it is important you know this month to know your limitations we do have our second saturn uranus you know square it's we got mars you know making a t-square with them um we have that happening this week so this is the last week of june and i'm that energy will carry through to july and 
Mars is an energy of like our drive and Saturn is an energy of what limits us and Uranus is an energy of um, sudden rebellion, sudden change, sudden transformation. And so something I'm seeing here is we might have the drive to suddenly change and break away from the things that were limiting us and I think that's completely possible but I think it's also important to like you know not like shoot your shot like so high how can I say this let me let me take a second to like phrase this it, what I'm sensing is, is it's important to kind of like ease out of it as much as you can you know you already have that Uranus energy coming in to suddenly change something coming in with surprises coming in with uh, wild cards and a way you want to offset that is to try to keep things um uh is to try to how do i say this this is such a complicated energy i'm sorry i'm getting a little tongue twisted in saying this but it kind of feels like in order to offset that like you want to you know make sure you're strong at your own core strong at your own core so that way when things move and change around you like you don't get thrown off you want to make sure that like you take your time easing into something sometimes we can get so excited we can get like a aha moment and we want to go from zero to 100 we want to go from you know broke to a millionaire overnight we want to go you know we want to put out our business put out our art and we want things to sell out right away and that's not always how life works you know, sometimes things build up slowly, but that doesn't mean it's wrong for you. And I feel like, you know, this group has to like kind of respect the process right now because I think you found something that you're meant to be doing. And a lot of times the destined path is the longest ride out here, you know? So I think you kind of gotta, gotta be okay with that, gotta be okay with like, steadiness and I feel like there's something about this group that isn't okay with steadiness and I worry that you guys will cause like unnecessary wild cards unnecessary disruptions unnecessary rebellions that's not needed and I think this group's a lot smarter than that with this king of swords energy and I really feel like you've already had your rebel phase like you've already had that and like this um like this message said it's kind of your time to now rebuild and you're rebuilding with the knowledge with the intuition you know with all the answers and that's why this time is so sacred and so faded and so special you know it's your chance to rebuild with all the answers you needed it's like as if you got to go back to high school you know with all the knowledge and lessons that you've gained up until now you got to go back into high school and try again and how would that change everything you know how would that change everything you guys kind of have that window right now um so that's super interesting okay let's see what's happening with the three of swords energy third week and the five of pentacles energy <clears throat> let me get some confirmation on these two let me let me try that again let me get some confirmation on this three of swords energy and this five of pentacles energy let's see we have the lovers here okay can i get another confirmation oh okay so the lovers <clears throat> Ooh. ten of swords queen of pentacles and our king of pentacles here Ooh. Okay, so I feel a bit of maybe like financial shrinkage is kind of the energy I'm channeling right now, some type of financial shrinkage in a, in a way where maybe you are having to spend less, having to change up certain you know routines that you have because you just can't afford it anymore or maybe you have to um like cancel <clears throat> cancel your gym membership you don't have time to go to the gym anymore you know there's something of like not being able to live maybe as luxurious as you've been living <laughs> these past couple of 
um, months and I feel like it can trick your mind into thinking that it's failing into thinking that it's not successful in all reality you know there's like I feel like this third variable here where the reason why maybe you're not able to go to the gym anymore um, is because you know you just got into your dream job and you have to put all your work into that and so now you don't have time to go into the gym or do something you love so it's kind of like this energy of like there's this blessing that comes in but I feel like it can um, not be seen because of all these little smaller losses that had to go in order to make room for this blessing you know what I mean so another example is like maybe you aren't working as much and you, thus you don't have as much money and so you've been feeling a lot more broke but the reason why you're not working as much is because you have you know one of the best internships in the world right now do you see what I mean there so there's these little like backstories and we have to not let our mind trick us in that type of way the third week because the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles coming in together shows balance to me balance in terms of material goods and resources which also means you have to balance yourself you have to know where you're doing too much spending too much wanting too much and get rid of that like excessiveness there's no need for that and again i think that's why your cards were telling you to simplify your life a bit and you'll probably find yourself moving a lot happier moving a lot freer and um I think also it's important to incorporate more love into your life and you know you can do that by you can do that by like surrounding yourself with clothes you actually love to wear you can do that by working a job that you actually really love you can do that by hanging out with your friends and your family you know incorporating more love into your life doesn't always mean you have to hop on tinder find a boyfriend a girlfriend or a date or whoever and you know make it happen like you you can incorporate love in all these other ways and i think that's something that's important to learn and i think that's something that cancers can really help with like the energy of cancer and the energy and the season of cancer is you know how can we experience these moments of joy love and comfort and happiness in new ways okay your 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 i your ideas of pleasure may have to change you know your ideas of what make you happy may have to change and adapt and i can sense you might be someone that's really fixated on those things like only this can make me happy and only that can make me happy and i think it's been limiting you a little bit you know it's been limiting you a bit more then it's been helping you and this is not to say you know set the bar lower and don't go for what makes you happy that's what i'm saying but you know kind of like you know no one is trying to like no one is trying to give a little no one is time to take you know and right now i think you have to give a little because you're receiving so much you're receiving so much that you have to balance it out by giving a little you're receiving so many opportunities you need to balance it out by putting in effort to show you deserve those opportunities you know you're receiving so many um new like furniture or clothes and stuff like that you maybe have to get rid of your old stuff and sometimes that process is not fun for people especially if you can feel attached to those things and i think this will test your attachments the third week but i think you got it i think you got it and i think you're ready and i say that why because the following week we have temperance and the empress look how relaxed and chill she looks you know and i think that's about to be you at the end of the month just relax chill life is simplified life is manageable again you have the empress here which also tells me that you're setting yourself up maybe you know it's like you're you're in this middle point where you're again doing the groundwork and rebuilding and you know how like i said you have the smarts you have the lessons and now it's like you're setting yourself up for something big and grand and I don't think it's going to happen in the month of July, you know. It might play out maybe next year, maybe in, a, in two years. But it seems like you're setting yourself up for something really grand. 
and I can and I can see it as like you know maybe you um, started to work at that dream company and now you're setting yourself up to um, eventually get promoted and you know how that doesn't happen overnight right you're gonna have to put in the work a little bit you're gonna have to show the dedication and prove yourself a bit but it's like how worth it and proud and and excited are you gonna feel when you get there you know what I mean and I think to some extent this is kind of like you know a point where you've I feel like for for people in this group you're reaching a point where you've always wanted this point you know maybe it's like you're like I said you finally got your dream job you were finally in the company again you finally got to move or whatever and again it's like that more for more sake energy coming it could come in and and make you be like okay I got it whatever now what's the next best best thing sometimes you just have to sit and like stop and smell the flowers a bit stop and smell the flowers a bit this group whatever you're building for um it feels like I said like soul purpose and it feels like it's gonna move really fast like time is gonna also start to pick up and I think it's important for you to like make sure you're on a routine that allows you to keep up with things I think it's important for you to get out of your head and you know know how to motivate yourself know how to drive yourself and I talked a bit about that in you know a past in a few of the other cards I find this to be a theme for everyone this Ju July is to motivate themselves because I think everyone is motivated, everyone's inspired, but now everyone has to like actually get up and take the action. And sometimes that's the hardest part, but once you get that ball rolling, it's rolling. And this seems like a really peaceful time for you. And sometimes we can kind of like confuse peaceful times with like, again, um, like we can confuse it with like, oh, nothing's happening. No, I feel like this is a peaceful time for you, but it's an eventful time too. Like, I feel like you're going to be busy. I feel like you're going to be socializing. I feel like you're going to be working. Like, I feel like you're, you've managed to get, like, your main areas of life in harmony, working together and in balance. And you get that by the end of the month. Wow, that's so... Oh, this group's energy is, is giving me chills right now. It's giving me chills, and it's just making me, like excited it really really excited it's good kind of chills it's not bad kind of chills it's like good kind of chills where i just feel like the warmth radiating from this group i feel the luck coming towards this group and i feel like a lot of people are starting to see you like as someone who is important in their lives as someone who is you know a necessity who is you know like a someone they can look up to I don't know there's this level of you being appreciated a lot more this month and I like that and I think it's important that you give that appreciation right back you know let's get some lessons for this group forgiveness can I get another lesson for this group empathy forgot to do it this way forgiveness empathy what's the last lesson for this group okay we have two that popped out we'll just keep them we have love and pride Woo! and you know when this goes up i think it'll be probably the last few days of june so if anybody's watching this happy pride month be who you are for pride <laughs> but um <clears throat> let's go ahead and talk about forgiveness since that was the first thing that popped up it says i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love and remember i think the act and choice of forgiveness it's it's for you at the end of the day it's for yourself it's for you to be freed from it it's for you to just no longer carry it with you and i think in this month of july you guys are really going to learn how to forgive and this isn't forgive and then you like think about it for like months on end. I feel like this time you guys are like really done. Like you're like forgiving your past. You're just d done with the cycles. But I think the most important th person you're forgiving here is like yourself. You're forgiving your soul. You're forgiving your spirit. You're forgiving 
like life in the world something about this group's energy feels like they're not so mad at the world the way they used to be mad at the world and that there's this strong sense of again like forgiveness to yourself for yourself it's like you're forgiving yourself for letting things slide you're forgiving yourself for letting yourself go you're forgiving yourself for forgetting your past forgetting your roots your Oh, I get chills as I say this. Oh, it came in. It feels so powerful and it feels so like you're, you've like made friends with yourself again. It feels like you finally have made friends with yourself again and like you're on your own team again. I like this energy of em empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. And I think that's really clear. Like, I think you're not even trying. Like, I think it's just intuitive messages just dropping in and you're like i see why they did that and i see that led to me doing this and so on and so on and i really feel like like i said if anybody has been like you know kind of emotionally messing with you in any type of way um i feel like you see that for your clearly too and you have empathy for yourself and I think empathy for yourself is something that's hard for this group like you could be so empathetic to other people but maybe you're super hard on yourself and I think this month you learn how to have a little bit more empathy for yourself and we have love here I commit to the practice of seeing seeing the good in all things so remember how we were talking about you know in the third week incorporating more love into your life by doing things you love, surrounding yourself with the things and the people that you love, going to places that you love. Starting to feed your soul in that way is really important in this month. And I think, again, also seeing more potential in life, more good in life, more becoming a little bit more optimistic that, you know, Jupiter making trines to our sun is definitely i think helping the collective become way more optimistic and we needed that um and i like this energy of pride i love myself and i see everyone in myself oh okay you should you should love yourself because i really feel like you've been doing the dang work you've been doing the dang work you've been healing you've been grinding you've been you know going through the emotions and um i think it shows it shows in how you carry yourself it shows in your work. It shows in the in in how you and how happy you are and how you smile now. And I think you're ready for it to show in how you love people. I think you have to let it show in how you love people and you have to let it show in how you love yourself now. That's like the last like final piece. And something about this feels like alignment, like the pieces fall together perfectly or the stars come together perfectly. Like lots of synchronicities, lots of good luck. Um, with this group wow okay let's go ahead and see what this group can surrender then what are some things that group number three can surrender what are some things that group number three can surrender okay I feel like this card wants to come out we have surrender to setting limits what else are some things? Okay. Three cards. Okay. We have surrender to setting limits. It says, it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. I think I pulled that for another group too. But yeah, like I said, don't let, the, don't let whatever energy this is mess with you. Um, uh, it's like I said, it's like, remember when I was trying to explain earlier about knowing your limits? So that way you don't overshoot and then let yourself down. That's important here. And I think it's also important in relationships. Um, I also sense like don't love bomb. You know, don't drop everything you have into this relationship only to run from it the next day. And don't let that happen to you. Um, but yeah, also set your boundaries, set your limits, say no, protect yourself. There's, there's, there's a sense of mastering loyalty to yourself in in this in this july and it starts with setting these limits next we have is surrender the idea that you can fix someone okay you're not fixing anybody it says it's time for a relationship to shift it doesn't work to try to fix someone each person must be accountable for his or her, her own healing so i feel like if you're like 
like I said, it feels like you can be a really empathetic and understanding person. So maybe you're like, oh, I bet if I just talk to this person and I give them another chance and like blah, 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 then they can fix them. No, no. I think, you know, talk to them one time, maybe talk to them two times, but you sure as hell should not be having to talk to people three dang times asking for the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't have even had to, you shouldn't even have to honestly talk to them the second time if they really respected you. But it feels like there's someone here that is treating you a little wrong and you let, kind of like let it slide because you know that it comes from a place of hurt or you know that it comes from um, insecurities or whatever. But that's not your problem. It's not your job to fix people it's not your job to save people like it's it's completely okay to leave okay and I think you there's a there's a part of you that feels like guilty like oh my god am I abandoning people no remember loyalty to yourself is the first thing we are practicing this month and your guides the guides in this room just got so mad and so loud like they have been telling you like to be a little bit more loyal to yourself and to be more empathetic to yourself so you can stop dealing with the type of people that you've been letting yourself deal with i feel like this is a really big cycle that's coming to an end right now maybe you've been constantly dealing with these types of people because you've been constantly trying to fix people and it's like your guides are like it's time for you to get some quality people now okay and i'm not trying to say people who aren't healed aren't quality it's all what i'm trying to say but what i'm trying to say is that it's time for you to maybe get people who um, are more willing to heal or or find people who are independently doing that by themselves they don't need you to do it they have their own spiritual path and they share methods of healing with you as well and you two both together you know um can be spiritual or you both together can heal but no more you like carrying the whole pack no more you carrying the whole group like it's it's time for you to kind of like find people who are more you, like you you know i feel like it's like this thing, two birds of a feather flock together. Try to find your feather. Try to find the people who are just as strong as you, just as um, just as willing as you, just as, you know, optimistic as you, or just as motivated as you, or whatever. And stop letting, stop letting people kind of like ride your ride. You know what I mean? I feel like this group lets people ride their wave way too much. It's like you have a wave, you know you're doing good and you want people to come on it and, um, you know, be a pack with you, be a family with you, let you lead them, blah, 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 and then they end up fucking you over. That's like what I like am sensing and I think it's time to break out of that cycle. You should be around other leaders, all right, working together to put on something powerful because I feel like you're just letting people use you as an energy bank or letting people use you as like their therapist or letting people use you as like their you know tarot reader whatever enough of that enough of that no you got to focus on your own healing and let those other people focus on their own healing okay next card we have surrender denial so accept people and situations as exactly as they are without denying the difficulties you can see things clearly and make the best decisions and i feel i felt this energy earlier this morning i was sensing like you know kind of like um, being overly optimistic to a point where you aren't addressing, you know, your anxieties, you aren't addressing your um, fears, you aren't addressing the reality. And in doing that, you not only gaslight yourself, but you honestly gaslight other people. And that's why I think it's kind of like important to like take the rose colored glasses off and just handle what needs to be handled. Open those doors you've been needing to open, see the things you've been needing to see. Last card we have here is surrender resentment. It says holding on to resentments only po poisons you. Forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. Yes, I feel like you can be someone who can really hang on to like the sad memories, the hard memories, the, you know, kind of like more darker parts of life. And I think it's time for you to like learn how to switch that up and hang on to more happier parts of life more positive parts of life like I feel like you're someone who can hang on to you know the way a friendship end instead of hanging on to a way a friendship started you know and it's those little switches that can help with a king of swords that can help make the mind a lot more lighter 
at the end of the day. Okay, all right, group number three. Well, let's go ahead and pull your, um, I almost forgot. Let's go ahead and pull um, your postcard from Spirit. I've been pulling that for all of the groups, so gotta make sure I pull it for this group too. And let's see. Okay, whoa, I'm getting, I'm getting a, little, a little tongue twisted over here. All right, if you guys have made it this far, why don't you comment down below some like yellow hearts or like the sun emoji so that way I know which pile you picked. Um, let's go ahead and pull a postcard from Spirit for this group. This is how I like to, how I like to end um, this reading. So let's see what your postcard says. It says, Dearest you, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again, full circle, in ways you could not possibly have planned? You wonder how a dream could die only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. You thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self, who desires are unmet. I told you guys, second chances! Um, it says, now here you are with a new opportunity to do things from a different, more mature perspective. We want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called in two directions, and the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one. In the unknown spaces and uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have come full circle, and now you can see that everything changes, is made new, and is given new hope. Loving you always. Oh, that gives me chills. What a perfect way to end this reading. And if you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn that bell on so that way I know that you, um, you know, like this video. So yeah, give this video a like. So that way I, I know you guys like this kind of content and I can keep putting it out. I also really love when you guys tweet me at Twitter and tell me what you guys think and tell me what pile you picked. I love that stuff. So um, don't be afraid to do that. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video.